All right, man. Detroit Pistons trade guard the line right to the Sacramento Kings for Corey Joseph and two second round picks. Let's talk about it. Check out the Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. If you want to make a donation, best way to donate, thumbs up the video, share it. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button and check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist for more videos like this. And hopefully, there are better trades than this trade, all right? But it's not a bad trade. But um, AP source, according to Yahoo, I'm reading from Yahoo News. Pistons agree to trade the line right to the Kings. Detroit Associated Press. Pistons have agreed to trade guard the line right to Sacramento Kings for guard Corey, Corey Joseph. And two second round picks, according to a person with knowledge of the deal, the post person spoke to the Associated Press. They need an editor better than this. Matthew just rushed and put this out on condition of remain anonymous um, to Thursday because the trade had not been announced. All right, so I didn't. So this trade been out. Well, it is Thursday, so all right, nothing much. So ESPN first said the trade first reported, and um, you know it is what it is. I like the line right, but they have a log jam at point guard. Excuse me. Uh, but my mouth is getting up. But, um, I mean, you can look at the contract. So, we can start off there. So, I heard that uh, they're saving $6 million with this deal. Uh, let's look at Corey Joseph's contract. He is 29 years old. Um, played with, uh, played for Dwayne Casey in, in Toronto, excuse me, I think. So, this is, what was it? Yeah, this is 2021, 22 season, right? So, he's making 12 and 12.6 million dollars a year. So, whoever, whoever, all right, uh, Rich Paul is his agent. So, whoever, uh, he's from Toronto, I believe. Whoever did his contract, you know what I'm saying? Whoever got him paid. Corey Joseph is not a 12 million dollar plus player, even by today's standards, who you got guys like Jalen Brown, whoever made an All Star team. At least I don't think he made it this year. Maybe he did make it this year. I don't know. But for, before getting the contract, he never made an All Star team. And um, Buddy Hill getting the contract, max contract, not a super max, and not getting, never making an All Star team neither. Even by today's standards, you know he's not that guy. You know maybe he's more of a eight point five million dollar guy like Delon Wright. Um, you know, who I heard Stein with the Detroit Pistons and Greg Lawrence and Wasserman is his uh, agent. And he signed the Detroit Pistons because he wanted to play for Dwayne Casey. He played for Dwayne Casey in Toronto as well, too, and got traded. And he'd be a free agent next year anyway, so he'd be playing on a half. He'd be playing Sacramento for a half contract. And, you know, you see where Sacramento's at. At this point, um, at this point in the season, let's see where they at. Sacramento. Hold on. Sacramento is 12th in the West, but they are three games in the win column from the eighth spot. And the Warriors are 500 and they 10th. And I told people Steph Curry was shit. He couldn't carry nobody. Nobody wanted to listen. Every every time he have a good night, everybody hit me. Oh, you know, look at when he had bad nights. You know, nobody want to talk about nothing, but. I mean, overall, they're going to save $6 million. But it didn't matter, though. It really didn't matter. They was going to save $8 million. They're going to have $8 million in cap next year. He had an expiring contract. People talking about picks. I mean, you know, we could talk about the second round picks. In NBA history, in history, I mean, you just think about it. I mean, what, what's the last great second round pick the Pistons had? Dennis Rodman? You know what I'm saying? Just looking through them. It, it's been some good ones throughout history. Clifford Robertson, he played in Detroit. Rest in peace, peace to him. Rest in power, Tony Kukoc, Antonio Davis, Rashard Lewis. I think he came in in high school. That's why. Manuel Ginobili. I thought he was a first round pick, second round. That was Tony Park Gilbert Arenas, Carlos Boozer, Kyle Corver. Trevor Reza, Lou Williams, he came out of high school, Paul Millsap, P.J. Tucker, Marcus Saul, DeAndre Jordan, Goran Dragic, Danny Green, Patty Mills, Isaiah Thomas, the one that played for the Warriors, Draymond Green, Chris Middleton. Oh, we did have Chris Middleton. So, okay, we picked him in the second round. Then we really Nikola Jokic, Matres Hero, Malcolm Brogdon, 
So it's been some good ones, but overall, you just think like we had Chris Milton, we had Spencer Dewitty, we didn't do nothing with him. You know? Alright, sorry, I got the dog <laughs> foot stuck in my shirt. But but yeah, I mean, you know, you look at the second round pick, it's been some good ones, but you know, Detroit history has probably been Spencer Dewitty, Chris Milton, obviously the GOAT for second round picks here is Dennis Rodman, but he was like, oh, yeah, keep acquiring them picks. Second round picks ain't shit in the NFL. I mean, the NBA and the NFL, they're great. The NFL got great undrafted players consistently throughout the league history. Even when they went seven rounds or some plus rounds in the, uh, even when they went plus seven rounds in the NFL draft, they always still had great talent depth. The NBA talent depth, it ain't as good. It ain't as good. You know, throughout history, it, it has been. Where's my shirt, man? Let me fix myself. Hold on. All right, there you go, buddy. You know, it just ain't been as good. You just you, people talking. Oh yeah, we compiling picks. We we stacking picks. Like second round picks. Nobody care about no second round pick. They like they first round picks. You know, we care about no second round picks. They could have just kept them. With, they could have kept them in Sacramento. Especially when, when you got a, when you got a uh, a guy like Troy Weaver who can't draft. You know, if he thought Sadiq Bay was so good, why didn't he take Sadiq Bay with Isaiah Stewart pick? You know, why you draft Killian Hayes? And it's been a, a thousand rookies better than Killian Hayes. Tyrese Hilburton is a thousand times better than Killian Hayes. And I tell you, it just seemed like we in Detroit, we pick people who don't know how to identify talent. It's not hard. It wasn't hard to see Tyrese Hilburton was a better player than Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes is garbage. People use the hip injury as his skills. You go back to Ed Stefanowski. You know, we're talking about Sayoko. Sayoko Diombo. You can talk about him. You know, that was another bad draft pick it looked so far. And I see a lot of people giving up on him, man. You know, we talk about he went 15th. I think uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker was better than him. Um, but you didn't have a lot of people that went after him. That was pretty good. Kevin Porter Jr., we know they didn't take him because he was a... Uh, he was a problem. It was another cat. Let me see. I don't know he didn't drive. Was uh he didn't drive Darius Bays. They could Darius Baisley over Deion Bow, but it wasn't a lot of people to pick. Other than Deion Bow, as it stands right now, you know, it really it really boiled down to Alexander Walker and Darius Baisley, and we know why they didn't take Kevin Porter. You know. But his draft, it wasn't even that good. John Morant, Zion, Zion Williams, RJ Bear getting, getting it done. Hunter, not sure. Garland kind of fell off. Culliver, not good. Kobe White, he's doing straight. Jackson Hayes, I don't think he's doing much. Ryu, Hamachi, whatever his name is. Haven't seen heard much from him. Ken Reddish, heard he on the trade black. Cameron Johnson, not sure what he's doing. PJ Washington, got uh, Brittany Renner credit. Dummy, Carlo Hero. Okay, Romeo Langford not doing that. So it wasn't a great draft. That's where it stands at. But, you know, overall, the Pistons are not going to be able to come back and be prominent without good, without drafting the right way. And they missed a, they messed up here. It ain't the biggest mess up. But I think it's going to bite them in the butt by taking Killian Hayes. I don't think Sadiq Bay is going to save them there. But overall, they say they was going to save $8 million anyway. This this trade didn't save nothing because the, the, the line right got a spine contract. So to me, it was a trade that didn't need to be done. You didn't do right by uh, Delon White by sending him to a, a team that's a contender. To me, this was a pointless trade. It was a it was a dumb trade. People saying, "Oh, look, what you love about the trade? What you love?" They both had aspiring contracts, and if you had if you had the extra four plus million to take on the contract, that's that money was going to be free anyway. You already had that money. So you trade an aspiring contract. You didn't trade this dude to a contender. You trade him to a team that's just like the the Pistons. Dumb trade. I don't care about no second round picks. At all. You're not going to trade two seconds for a first unless it's at the end of the first round. So, to me, I didn't get the trade. People saying, well, you saved six million. You didn't save shit. You didn't save nothing. It was expired contract regardless. You had that money free. So, to me, and the trade didn't make us no better. didn't make us no worse. It didn't clear up no cap room because you got the money. They both expired contracts. So, uh, you know, I really didn't care for the trade. It didn't make us better. Don't care about no second round picks. This ain't the NFL. But, hey, let me know what you guys think about the trade. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out anytime if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All our social media links in the description. Faster way to reach us is Twitter. 
and Facebook and Instagram. All links there. Want to make a donation? Cash App CJ Good three one three. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. That's where to donate. Share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.